Welcome to the 71st Annual Emmy Award Ceremony, presented by Arby's Jr. We have some of the meats. Ever since I was six, I could talk to animals. Everyone said I was crazy, but it's just who I am. Sometimes I come to the park and just talk to them. We get each other. Do you believe in reincarnation? My parents yeah. tell me that I need to make friends, but I say, Mom, these are my friends. Où est Maxine? Où est Maxine? Elle est où Maxine? Qu'est-ce que tu as fait avec Maxine? This guy's terrible. And the Emmy goes to, you guys aren't gonna believe this one, Pierre Tatum Dupre for his role in Nature Talks. Come up here, Pierre. This is Pierre Tatum Dupre's first win as an outstanding lead actor in a drama series and second nomination overall. Wow. Uh, keep the clapping going. Keep clapping. Yeah. Um. Um, but I would like to, to thank a few people, um, so, um, no one, this was on me, I, 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 I'd invented this role, and, 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 and to, to the director over there, you're not a very good director, by the way, but, but, recently I watched the film Star Wars, and not, not the originals, cause those suck, I only watch the prequels, okay? And, uh, and I'd also like to thank the Academy, uh, or whoever put this big show on. Um, uh, so. Jeremy Whalen here. I'm a technology teacher at NHS, but I'm also the Global Glimpse advisor. Global Glimpse is an international trip that students have gone on in the past. We've gone to Ecuador and other South and Latin American countries. Uh, we didn't get to go last year, but we are in preparing for the potential of going in later years. I wanted to introduce you to Brave New Academy. It's a way to connect with individuals around the world and talk about some of these global issues uh, that we see, about economics, about culture, about just the way societies move. So there is openings for registration until October 15th. Take a look at the website, take a look at some of the video and some of the, the resources that they have on the website, and I hope you sign up. I encourage you to sign up. It's a really cool process. Oh yeah. Y'all ready for this? Hi, I'm Sophie Bennett and welcome to Hamped Up. This week on Hamped Up, we talked to NHS fall sport athletes to see how COVID-19 is going to affect their upcoming season. How do you think this has affected your team, especially? You know, honestly, I just think the way that we've, uh, we've had the opportunity to 
face some adversity before the season even starts. I've already uh, formed some some good friendships with some of these uh, little fresh. They're strong kids, you know. They know what they're doing. A young group of guys. Yeah, I think I think we got some stones now. I think we're ready for this movie, you know. I really don't think it's gonna change a lot for our team dynamic. Playing the game is a lot different because all the rules are different, so it's really hard to like adjust and figure that out as a team. So we've become more of like a program, I guess, with doing conditioning. We've always had really good team chemistry, so I don't think it'll affect us too much. I think obviously it's very difficult adjusting to this new season, but I think we have a great environment going on, and I think this is going to be a really hard-working and fun group of people. It hasn't affected us too much. It's definitely increased the size of the team. We've had like 10 new players, so... I think any impact would be very positive to the team. And what rule change do you think will have the biggest effect on your season? Having our masks on um, is definitely a challenge because running, like, you're breathing a lot and it's definitely hard to breathe with the masks on. As runners, probably the mask because it's obviously very hard to breathe with the mask on. And also our league has changed so we don't get to play against our biggest uh, competition, which kind of sucks for us. I think for us as a team, going from 11 players on the field to 7 is going to be a bit difficult. Some of us have experienced that in a different setting, but altogether it might be a little difficult. We're definitely wearing masks because it's really hard to breathe. You feel like you can pass out a little bit. You can't um, throw in the ball or you have to space out from people. It makes it a lot harder to play the game. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. Tune in next week to see how our student athletes are preparing in their offseason for their upcoming sports. Welcome to Blue and Gold Games. I'm Gabby. And I'm Shiloh. On this segment, we play video games with the teachers of NHS. Today, I'm joined by Mr. Brester, and we'll be playing Minecraft. Start off with a question first, a pretty simple one. How did you get into teaching? Um, it started with me helping out uh, high school and college bands. Um, done a lot of teaching for marching band and things and I really just enjoyed that aspect of seeing the growth within people and that's what I wanted to do. When was like the moment that you knew like this is what you wanted to do? I don't know if there was like a specific moment that it hit me. I think it was just kind of a culmination and like an accumulation of all these little moments but I guess oh you know the creeper. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, man. Uh, I guess, like 2017, if you're looking for a year. I just killed a creeper with one punch. Oh, no, I'm going to die. <laughs> Loser. Oh, no, I'm definitely going to die. Oh, you also said your favorite movie was Night at Ruxbury. <laughs> yeah, it's like a really, it's a really yeah. bad, like, 90s movie. That's sick. Yeah, I saw, we saw that, uh, we happened to look it up, and we noticed that it received an 11% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> I've never looked that up. It's like, it's like one of those movies where it's so bad that it's good. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, Mr. Brester, I want to know, is there anyone yeah. you would like to play for us on the trumpet? Play for you. Um, you know, I'm... Here in Massachusetts, um, until everything kind of closed down, I was a part of two music groups, a group called West Mass Brass, and then I was part of the Florence Community Band that plays um, and rehearses at the high school. Oh, man. I like the house. It's open. Mm -hmm. It's got a garden. It's very pretty. <laughs> Rest in peace, Shiloh. Yeah, that's really sad. Poor guy. Thank you so much for coming on. No, absolutely. I, I've been really enjoying this. Awesome.